Let me share with you two great reasons why you should consider Curator, productivity and marketing. Reports tell us the average user visits 40 different web pages every day and switches between them every three minutes. They also tell us that the average user wastes 20% of their day just looking for information. Curator can help you with this. If you're a web developer or a marketer, Curator can help you with your content marketing. Creating original content is expensive. Curation fills 60% of the content strategy for most marketers, and Curator can help you with that. Let's take a look and see how it all works. Curator makes it really easy to save your interests on the web. To save any page, you activate the Curator icon. It will scrape information off of the page. It will allow you to choose the collection. You can scan for images and save an image. You can modify the description. I'm going to show you in a second how we will do that and then add meta tags if they're not automatically added. It's very important to add as much meta information as possible because all of this information is going to help you with findability and also to add value to the content when you are sharing it or when you're searching for it, you can index your saved links in context. To add a description, I use a product called Glass. It's a social highlighter that allows me to simply highlight any part of the content. And the highlighted links are going to be added to Glass, as you can see over here. And then I can use the built-in chat GPT to create a summary of the content that I have highlighted. Now I can just copy this and paste it. You can see that the color of my curator icon has changed, which means that this link has already been saved. And I can now go over to the description and copy the content and save it. I can also add YouTube videos by simply liking them. And I can do the same thing with Twitter posts. These get automatically added. You can be on your phone watching it on TV or on any device and add social posts directly to your Curator app. All of your saved links are stored inside of the Curator app in collections, and each one of these collections is independent of the other one. This means that you can search each collection by publisher, author, and content tags. You can actually search the individual columns for example, I have something called design ideas and I can filter information in this way. I can also use the tags on the page to filter my information. I can share my folders with my team by simply adding their email. This way we can both work on this together, one or more people and people can contribute content or use the same project files. We talked about productivity. We have a different view, a list view. You can see here list or card view. And I'm gonna show you how projects can be managed with Curator very effectively. Every project may have links that are on the desktop, on the web or in apps and you can very quickly and easily organize everything here inside of your curator app and then open them up together as we said people visit 40 different web pages to manage access to information and with curator you can organize all of them in one place here is a notion app here is a website another website, an application, an email, and a desktop, a file on my Google Drive. So with Curator, you can very quickly and easily organize access to information the way that you work.
curator has a number of publishing solutions. You can publish content to our WordPress plugin under KBucket files, create a file, attach folders under from the curation folders, connect that to your WordPress plugin. You can also select folders from the curation folders under sync folders. And from here, you can publish the content in a number of ways. You can either generate an RSS link or embed libraries, HTML libraries, YouTube libraries, or carousel cards. I'm going to copy the RSS link so I can show you how it works. Here is an example of the YouTube carousel. When users click on these YouTube videos, the video is gonna be playing directly on the website. And the comments that you have made as the editor is going to also be on Curator. It also appears here underneath the video. You have embed features. This is a WordPress website, so we can also embed using the kbucket file. You can see over here, this is a carousel of some of our clients. We also have a slider module. This is an example of a YouTube gallery. You can see over here, the gallery looks very much like curator where you can filter information either by using the tags on the site or by the filters in here. And I can also reset them very easily. This is an example of our resource hub. On the WordPress website, you can see that it has multiple channels. I can switch between the channels. I can navigate the content using the content tags. And users can also easily share this content each post individually on multiple social channels. Another option for sharing is to use the RSS links here or in Curator to drive newsletters. Here is an example. I can add a source by copying the RSS link that we just copied and it's going to directly import content from Curator into your newsletter that you can send out periodically. You can also use marketing automation tools like Balkly by adding the RSS links to these tools and sharing the content on multiple channels simultaneously. When users click on these links, the traffic is going to come back to your own website. So Curator is a very powerful publishing tool. Give it a try.